Alright, after this really, really long video I made, I decided to make it one more little quick one. And this one is going to be how I run and how I roll my barrel chambers. So, I, how I roll them is pretty simple. I just all can go. And if ever I get maps like this one, which is about 50% quantity, I vow it hoping for something better. Uh, sometimes you end up with some pretty crazy maps, like this one, 107% quantity. And sometimes it just goes up by a, few, a little bit. And sometimes it bricks, and that's from the temple. Sometimes it bricks, and sometimes it just nothing happens. So, uh, I mean, all in all, it's it's a gamble, but it's one vowel. And like I said in the video, I'm selling my maps for vowels. So in the end, I have like infinite vowels, infinite uh, maps. So it's not bad. So so I'm gonna run a quick a quick map and show you guys how I go about running my running my burial chambers sorry so what I do I pretty much go around the corners like the edges and then I run down the middle so and also like if you don't full clear it so that's gonna happen oh that's like two chaos if you don't full clear that's gonna happen it's not that big of a deal like if you if you miss a pack here and there it's not that big of a deal it's honestly not a big problem this is a pretty slow map though for real so yeah this is the second part where I'm like I said I go around around the edges around the edges kill all the mobs around the edges pick up what I gotta pick up around the edges around the edges around the edges and then I run straight down the middle and see if there's anything else. Nope, we're good. And then I do Alva. After doing Alva, I do the boss. And after doing the boss, rinse and repeat. Uh, I try to aim. Whoa, that was that was pretty crazy. I try to aim for uh, roughly a minute and a half per map. That is excluding uh, the temple, or sorry, the incursions. So I'm going for one one minute thirty for just running the actual map which I think is decently fast with the temple we're looking at something like two minutes per map I want to say like this one's really slow so don't take this map for for an, um, for a good you know representation a lot of crap's gonna drop don't pick that up <laughs> don't pick that up just go straight to the boss kill these guys Drop the boss real quick. Rinse and repeat. Drop, put another map in. Sell while the map opens. And you're off to go. That's how I run my uh, burial chambers. Uh, I normally run something like 40-ish maps per hour. Maybe 50. So it's very, very fast. It's very, very effective. Don't pick up the rare. Seriously, it's a, it's a eye level 70 map. You're not going to get anything worth it. Maybe something insane is going to drop, but honestly, it's just not worth your time. The amount of currency you're losing, the amount of map drops you're losing, the amount of exalts, doctor possibilities you're losing from just IDing rares and picking them up and just looking through all that garbage, it's just not worth it. So pick up the uniques you know are worth a few chaos. Pick up the currency drop, pick up the cards, uh, that kind of thing. Don't worry too much about the lower stuff. That being said, my filter right now isn't all that great. I'm using Never Sinks uh, really strict or whatever. It's not good. It's still showing chance orbs. It's still showing augment. No, it's not showing augments, but it's showing alterations uh, and a few other things which, which I don't normally pick up, but it's whatever. In this league, it's still really early, so they're actually still worth some something. And since I'm crafting quite a bit, then alterations are also pretty useful for me. But, I mean, if there's an alteration and you have to backtrack, like, 50 feet to get it, just let it be. Just don't worry about it. Just move on. You're going to get more chaos that way. So that's it. Real quick video. Showing you guys how I run my maps. So, yeah. Good luck.